Welcome to another St. Mary video. I was recently criticized for not communicating well with a patient because of my iPad. And it got me thinking about how I can use technology better in the care of our patients. And really thinking about it, I realized I never really had any formal training using a mobile device since the first iPad came out three years after I graduated from my residency program. Doctors starting their practice in 2012 are much more adept at using technology like iPads and other mobile devices in caring for their patients. Today I want to talk about how to talk to patients while working on an EHR. It's a skill. So there are some simple things you can do to improve your communication with a patient. Kaiser Permanente developed something called the LEVEL system, which is an acronym which stands for L, let the patient look on, E, eye contact, V, value the computer, E, explain what you're doing, and L, log off. Let's talk about this. L, letting the patient look on allows the patient to participate in care. E, eye contact. This is self-explanatory. We all know we need to make eye contact when speaking to our patients. V, value the computer. If you speak positively about using the computer in your practice, the patient will much more appreciate its presence in, its, in his or her care. E. Explain what you're doing. It's really important to talk a patient through every step that you might be taking in the EHR. Some examples of what I try to say when I'm referring to my iPad or other mobile device include, here's the spot that I'm talking about on your x-ray. This is a graph of your vital signs. Here's a list of your home medications. L. Log off. When using a mobile device, this is not as important as in other places, like for example your office. But some patients worry that their information will be viewed by someone who shouldn't be viewing it. Some other tips include setting up your exam rooms so that you can have a view of, the, of a computer screen and of the patient without changing your body position. And anyone that's ever designed the kitchen knows that the famous kitchen triangle that's necessary to be effective in the kitchen while cooking can apply in this situation as well. Another recommendation is reviewing a patient's record offline prior to entering the room. This obviously adds more time to the visit and is more likely to exclude the patient from actively participating in the management, but nonetheless has been shown to work pretty well for a lot of doctors. That's the end of today's installment. There's a much better video on this topic from the Fallon Clinic located on the link if you click it. I would encourage you to do so. It's about 10 minutes long, but worth your time. See you next time.